Today's episode of Film Ride is brought to you by Full Sail University. Welcome to Film Ride Mondays, which is a Film Ride episode that gets released on a Monday. It's Monday and it's Monday. Oopie doopie doopie doop. That says all that needs to be said. Where did Bammy Wham come from? It came from exactly here. Bammy Wham! We were doing that and then Josh was just ad-libbing and he randomly said Bammy Wham and I found it hilarious. Therefore, Bammy Wham was boothed. The effects before or after color grading. After. Color grading is the last thing that you do. So once you're done with everything, then you color grade. Hey Ryan, what do you think about filming in a public access old graveyard? Would you need to get permission before you start? You're asking the guy that just had a project with a budget and I still didn't get permission from the locations we shot at. I don't, maybe just cause it's, it's, it's dangerous and it feels, it's exciting, it's dangerous. No, I just don't, there's sometimes where it'd be really difficult. You gotta get insurance, you gotta get all the permissions and you go through the whole, and when it's a rush job, doing that can be very difficult. So if it's a quick in and out sort of thing, oftentimes I'll just do it. It's not preferred and not recommended to do it that way because if you do get kicked off the location, uh, especially if it's really seen, it's kind of difficult to switch things around. If you get all your cast and crew out there and then you get kicked out of the location, one, it's very embarrassing for you. And two, it's really gonna set you back time and money because you are getting all them out there. You have to feed them whatever money it costs. To, even if it's just gas money to get out there, that was just a waste of time and money. So it is preferred to get permission. Um, it's a graveyard, so that is a little bit, I don't know, that feels a little, like you should be more respectful there. If it's you know public access and no one's ever there and it's a quick in and out and you're not walking places you shouldn't, I would potentially not get permission, but I would probably find out. It seems to me that it wouldn't be that difficult for something like that. So I would, I would definitely try to go the proper routes first. Although I will say that I've gotten permission for the places I've shot maybe 10% of the time. What directors have influenced you the most, Bammy and also Wham? I'm gonna say just all of them. Everyone that directed a movie that I liked has influenced me, but the most would be, definitely Steven Spielberg would be my number one. Alfred Hitchcock, J.J. Abrams, Christopher Nolan, Martin Scorsese, um, early James Cameron work, Paul Greengrass, David Slade. Uh, man, you could just go, Paul Thomas Anderson. You could just go on forever. Really, there's so many unbelievable directors that have done incredible things. Quentin Tarantino, that I just watch into the ground to try to learn from Stanley Kubrick, and they're all stupendous. I did say Steven Spielberg, right? No. Okay, well Steven Spielberg and Steven Spielberg, Steven Spielberg. Do you want to make epic Hollywood style productions, 300 Star Wars type budget or low budget, solid films, Winter's Bone, Eternal Sunshine, American Hustle? I am a spectacle type guy. I really love telling a story, but I like telling it on a grander scale. Most of my ideas are bigger ideas, which is very frustrating for me. I mean, if you've noticed the type of stuff that we do has much bigger ideas than what we're capable of pulling off. I mean, even our latest, just quickie project that we did. Uh, Adobe and the Frog had a talking animated character. Is this whole fantasy world that we cut to with all these VFX stuff that is definitely above the budget that we're using, but we're still grasping for that anyway because I just, if it's, if there's not something fantastic about it, I don't know. I just can't sick my teeth. It's, it's almost like Guillermo del Toro said, it has to have a monster. It has to have that sort of thing for me. That's why I really love sci fi, horror, fantasy sorts of things, things that are larger than life. I mean, J.J. Uh, Abrams films are a great example, and Spielberg films are great examples of the type of thing I want to do, where it's just this larger than life type thing. I could definitely get into the whole indie thing as well. I mean, Tell was very much that, but uh, most of my ideas, unfortunately, are far bigger than what I'm capable of at this time. Last question, what is the meaning of life? It's a great question, let's take a look. It's a noun. It's a condition that distinguishes animals and plants from the inorganic matter, including the capacity for growth, reproduction, functional activity, and continual change preceding death. If you want to be a movie maker, a maker of movies, someone who makes cinematic adventures and slaps it onto a screen for others to watch and enjoy, Full Sail University has degree programs to help you achieve exactly that, including an on-campus bachelor degree program and online digital cinematography bachelor degree program. And I actually attended the school many moons ago. I was, I was a young lad. 
wide-eyed and excited. And now you're old. I'm not even remotely old. They have an on-campus film bachelor degree program where you learn what it takes to make yourself a movie from start to finish on a campus that truly is equipped like a Hollywood backlot, man. They got all the gear that you could possibly want to just salivate all over those freaking Chapman dollies and cranes, all the sexy cameras, the lighting, and the lighting modifiers that just make you want to just hug yourself for even being in its presence. Plus, the sets that they have there are friggin' sick. Alumni worked on all five of the nominees in the best visual effects category, including Gravity, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug, Iron Man 3, The Lone Ranger, and Star Trek Into Darkness. Full Sail also offers a variety of online and on-campus degrees in fields related to the entertainment and media industry, including entertainment business, video games, art and design, recording arts, and a ton more. They've added four new degrees as well, including film production and Master of Fine Arts degree, which is both fine arts and karate. That's probably not true, but I wish it was. To learn more about Full Sail's programs, visit fullsail.edu forward slash film riot. Logo. So that's it for today, but before we go, if you have not seen our new project that I was talking about before with the talking frog in it, you should go here to check it out because I mean, it's got a talking frog in it. So, I mean, there is that. And also, if you didn't watch Thursday's episode, we're giving away a copy of everything that we have on our digital store to someone who does a thing that's really cool. We talk about it in the domain ad. So go watch that if you want to, with a thing to a do a thing Thursday's on that. Last Thursday's episode. Last Thursday's episode, which there's a link right here probably. Probably not. Uh, it could, there could be. Now it is. Oh. But I take it away really fast. So they have to, <laughs> they have to rewind it to find it. <laughs> So now it's time for my suggestion of the week. This one is called Project Skyborn, which you can find on the internet to watch with your eyes. It's a sci-fi with a really cool style. I really dug it, so watch it here. But that's it for today. Until next time, don't forget, write, shoot, edit, repeat.